have over 180 hard rock cafes in the world. We had a big, mighty corporation today. Celebrating 50 years a couple of years ago, nobody came due to the pandemic lockdown. We were locked down like everywhere. And in 50 years, the hard rock cafe has amassed 80,000 pieces of music memorabilia, guitars, suits, microphone stands, boots, hats, all kinds of artifacts. However, the most important item hard rock films in the world is not here today. It's gone for a holiday to the US. It is. The Jimi Hendrix Flying V guitar, made by the company Gibson, back in 1969 when they realised after making him two previous ones which he gave away, that he was left-handed. He used it through the year 69, culminating the following year, the famous Isle of Wight Festival. You all heard of the Isle of Wight English Channel, you got like 20 people living there or something. But that night he comes on stage at sunset and they think seven to 850,000 people show up to see Jimi on that guitar. They were there, the Beatles in the crowd watching him. Jim Morris from the Doors were there, as was Bob Dylan. Three weeks later, unfortunately, he passes away in Notting Hill area of London, so nothing the hard rocker films in the world is more important than the guitar there. But why is it not here? Why can't we see it today? You had a mate called uh, Billy Gibbons. Have you heard of Billy Gibbons? It's easy talk. It's easy talk. One of the big long beards. Except for the drummer, he doesn't have a beard. What's his name? Frank Beard. Frank beard. <laughs> Ironic, yeah. According to Jimi Hendrix, <laughs> Billy Gibbons was easy <laughs> talk, was the greatest living guitarist he saw in his young and extremely short life. So the Hard Rock Cafe put this on an airplane, sent it off to New York City in America, where you guys have got a TV show we don't have over here, so that Billy Gibbons can play it. On... Um, some TV show that you've got on what would have been his 80th birthday. Can you believe it? Billy Gibbons, Jimmy Kimmel Live, you know that show? November 2022. Which is my song today. Because all the other hard rock offers, you all want to have a look at it. Wow, the flying bees in America. So if you want to see that guitar, I'll tell you what they say to me, which is um, come back in about two months. Come on in. Wow. There's a film called Bohemian Rhapsody. Remember the mansion? Freddie buys a big mansion for his girlfriend and telling her, switch your light on. Remember that bit? Now, if you listen very carefully, in a minute you'll hear a train. He's standing 25 feet above the Piccadilly line. You're just on cue, you've been listening to me. Um, if you go from Hyde Park County Tube Station, five stops will bring you to Owls Court Tube Station. If you walk out there now, you turn left after the Conroy Road, is Logan place. Number one dog in place, the mansion he bought for his girlfriend Mary. She is still living there, so please don't knock on the door because she's nearly 80 years old. She gave that chair to the Hard Rock Cafe. It's Chinese for Ming Dynasty meaning it's a thousand year antique. Freddie used to collect antiques, put them all at Mary's house in Old Score. So why did she give it to the Hard Rock Cafe? Because Mary and Freddie were both regulars in that cafe across the road in the 70s and the 80s. Well, not anymore, but before the pandemic all happened, his other mate, sir, he is now Brian May of Queen, he used to eat here every couple of weeks. I know because I've been here far too long, as you can tell. I used to be a waiter, served him myself, and his wonderful wife, Anita Dobson, who played. Angie Watts. Married to Dirty Den, East End, the yeah, yeah, TV yeah. show we got over here. When they sat together on the table, <laughs> we used to have the same care of the air. <laughs> Dominant's the only female artist here. Look, see another female artist? No, you don't. You want to be next door? You walk in on the ground floor with the Beatles, Rolling Stones, Queen, all used to hang out back in the day. How many female artists, artifacts on the wall? None. We need more female artists here. 1990 goes around the world doing the Blonde Ambition Tour. Three of these designed by Jean-Paul Gaultier, France, of course. Today, she's the most successful female artist ever, making this very, very iconic. This is not. Lost Madonna's first credit card from Michigan with a chemical bank before she was all famous. And it's uneducational, it shouldn't be here. The UK is the best advice you'll ever receive in your young lives is don't get a credit card. <laughs> Church pew, two pillars, one situated by a fireplace up the road at 23 Brook Street, London. It's where Jimi Hendrix lived for two years in the 60s when he moved from America to London because he found out that 200 years previously lived a German composer he highly admired by the name of Frederick Joseph Handel. Guys, we're on Messiah. If you go there now, they call it Handel Hendrix Museum. Place worth checking out. When they first refurbished it, Hard Rock took the pew, the pillars, we put them here. And the first person we invited here to christen this was Ringo Starr, who comes in, sits down, looks all miserable like, and he goes, Please, some love. Do you know what you're going to do then? 
Now we're in the stories, right? That's all I love, don't worry, you can't know everything as soon as you've gone, can you? You've gone YouTube and put in the Beatles, you've heard of that, right? <laughs> Look for the drama, real then, Richard Starkey, they didn't go up in Liverpool, but when he was a teenager like yourselves, he was what you call a teddy boy. You saw his hair flip back like a young Elvis Presley, you heard of him, king of rock and roll. Ringo used to wear leather jackets and a whole load of shiny rings, so when he walked into a joint in Liverpool, his mates, his crew would go, oh look who's arrived, it's uh, Ringo Starr. Have you ever seen a TV program about a train that talks called Thomas? <laughs> the cartoon. Yeah, Thomas the tank engine, you call yeah. it there. In America, you call it Thomas the train. No, it's Thomas the tank engine. Wait, Thomas the tank yeah. engine there? Some places, Thomas train. In Germany, they call it Thomas the locomotive. In Norway, Thomas the Victor. Ringo used to be the voice when you were younger. <coughs> they offered it to John Lennon. 1980, Lennon goes, I'm going to do a daft thing about trying to talk to John Lennon. A couple of years later, Ringo's got the job. There goes person who's always drunk. All right, ladies, come on, sit down. Give us a camera and look miserable while Ringo did it. <laughs> he was unhappy because the man who opened the Hard Rock Cafe from Tennessee, our D. Isaac Tigre, he married Ringo's ex-wife. His daughter forced him, he was raging. <laughs> Ladies, Ringo, you're in your ex-wife's husband's place. You don't want to be here. Boom, boom, boom. Not smiling, okay? It's hard. You tried anyway. <laughs> Have a laugh, will you? Forget Ringo. Do what you want to do. Go on, ladies. Thank you. Take photos, ladies. Ask questions. Ladies, ask them. You don't know about my credit card. Come on in, sir. Ringo said, make sure everybody does this. The whole world, especially on my birthday, at 12 p.m. is very specific. <coughs> Just saw that, so crossy leg, that's what he did. He's so stiff, you know? Yeah, that's it. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that was a good ring, though. Be yourself, man. Wait, 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 wait. Just smile. There you go. Take photos. Come on in, mate. You know what, ring, though. He doesn't like looking at nobody no more. Next takes his sunglasses and put your sunglasses on. Okay, but putting some wool. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go on. Have a laugh. Be yourself. Be yourself, man. <laughs> good spot. Come on, pal. 